We're on the scene of an officer involved shooting in southwest Houston. That's where that officer apparently shot someone three times. An investigator saying that man reached for a gun. It happened just after 2.30 on South Brazewood near South Gessner. Channel 2's Brandon Walker at the scene for us. Brandon, what's the latest on the suspect's condition? Well, see on Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says that man is in critical condition at Bentop Hospital after being shot, as you mentioned, three times by a police officer. This all started, though, police say in the parking lot of this fiesta near the intersection of South Brazewood and South Gessner. Police say the man who was ultimately shot by police before the altercation with police was waving a gun at customers here in the parking lot. In fact, they tell us that's what prompted the first 911 call. Here's a look at the scene, which is just maybe about 30 feet feet or so away from us. Police say when they arrived just after 2.30, they couldn't find the man. Officers searched around and they did find someone who matched a description according to a witness. Chief Acevedo says officers questioned that man and that is when we are told the man reached for his gun and an officer offered open fire shooting that man three times. He was speaking English to our officers and they gave him commands in English. So he was comprehending the, the commands and he went for his gun. And that's when one of the officers just discharged his farm. I don't have all the details. Remember, this only this happened just, uh, you know, an hour, hour and a half, two hours ago. And this is just the onset of the investigation. And police have not identified that man who was shot. They say that he's 24 years old. They're in the process of contacting his relatives. As for the officer who opened fire, they tell us that he's assigned to the South Gessner Division. He's been on the force here for a year and a half. We are live tonight in Southwest Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.